In today's video, I'm going to show you how to run payroll with OnPay. I'll walk through getting familiar with your employer dashboard, navigating to the payroll section and choosing a pay cycle, entering employee hours, reviewing and submitting payroll, and even running reports. Hi everyone, I'm Heather Landau, payroll specialist and staff writer for Fit Small Business. Let's get started. Getting familiar with your employer dashboard. OnPay's intuitive dashboard allows employers to customize their home screen so it can be used to help them best manage their payroll. The first section shows all open tasks so that you're always prompted with the most time sensitive tasks to ensure that you stay on track. You'll then see a list of your employees giving you quick access to their profiles for any changes or updates that need to be made. The lower half of the screen features a customizable My Tiles section. These tiles allow you to click into your recent pay runs, view important payroll dates on the runway, and see any pending offers to prospective new employees. Below your tiles, you'll see the option to customize your dashboard. In this customizable menu, you can choose which tiles are to be highlighted, how many employees are displayed, and what kind of alerts you'd like to receive from the system. Navigating to the payroll section and clicking Run Payroll. On the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see that there is a simple to navigate menu that allows users to navigate the system with confidence. The third option from the top is payroll, which will bring you to the most important payroll pages. Run payroll, enter hours, review run, and reprint checks. The first option will bring you to the run payroll screen where you can begin entering all the necessary information for the current pay cycle. Choosing a pay cycle. Once you click the Run Payroll button, the next screen will bring up the different pay cycles that you have set up. If your company only has one set up, you'll only see one option here. However, it is a nice option that OnPay allows you to pay using multiple pay cycles. Some employers choose to pay different employees in different ways, meaning that your salaried employees could be paid on a monthly cycle while your hourly employees are paid on a weekly cycle. If you do choose to utilize multiple pay periods, OnPay makes it extremely easy. For whatever pay run you'd like to currently run, you'll simply want to click Start next to that payroll. Entering Employee Hours. Once you click on the payroll you want to process, you'll be brought to your list of employees that gives you the option to enter hours. There are different sections to enter regular hours, overtime hours, time off, reimbursements, etc. If your employee is set up in the system as salaried, their salary amount will be automatically entered into the payroll for you. You'll also be able to see whether your employee is set up to be paid via direct deposit or paper check, giving you the ability to update if you find that something is not looking accurate. If there are any employees in your active employee list who are not going to be paid in a specific payroll, you can simply unclick the check in the box next to their name and photo and they will be excluded from payroll. For this example, we're going to add 40 regular hours and a $500 reimbursement for Matthew. And since Christina's on salary, we're just gonna leave that alone. Reviewing the pay run. Once everything on the run payroll screen looks accurate, you can go ahead and click next. It'll take a couple seconds to calculate and then you'll get a preview of the payroll. The review screen is a really helpful tool that business owners can use to ensure that everything is entered accurately before pushing through any payments. As you can see here, OnPay flags any payments that seem incorrect by giving you a compensation warning. It says that the compensation for Matthew is unusually low when compared to Matthew's previous two pay runs. This can be a really great way for you to watch out for any discrepancies from run to run. In addition to any flag transactions, the review page also gives you the ability to ensure that all totals are in line with what you're expecting and that the hours, taxes, reimbursements, and deductions are all accurate. Submitting payroll. Once you've reviewed all payments included in the run payroll screen and are confident with all the numbers, you can go ahead and click submit payroll at the bottom of the screen. Since there is that warning about Matthew's pay, it's gonna give you a notification to make sure that you wanna proceed. And as long as you do, you'll wanna go ahead and click submit. At this point, there's nothing else that you'll need to do to get payroll processed. Once you've submitted your payroll, you're good to go and your payments are on their way. 
running reports. After processing your payroll, there are a ton of report options that you can run to help gain more insight regarding your payroll. You can access your reports from the menu on the left-hand side of the screen. Several default reports are available to run in a matter of minutes, including everything from a payroll summary to a general ledger. For this example, we're going to run a payroll summary. You can easily adjust the date range at the top of the screen, and with each change, there's a very simple update list button to refresh. You can view the report live in the browser, or you can open it in Excel or save as a PDF. Thanks for watching. For written step-by-step -step instructions, check out our How to Do Payroll with OnPay article linked in the description box below. Don't forget to check out the Fit Small Business YouTube page for more small business content.